everyone, welcome to Di Di Di, the teacher's new segment for today, which is called the sharing. So I'm Emily, and today I'll be sharing with you one of the very important knowledge of child development, which is called the nine multiple intelligence. Now, what exactly is this nine multiple intelligence? Let's find out today. Let's go. The first one, bodily kinesthetic. Individuals who have such intelligence tend to express their own ideas and also solve problems through their body movement. Now, how do you know whether your child has such intelligence? The first question you may ask yourself is that, is your child good at mimicking at other people's body action? Second, does your child enjoy physical activity rather than indoors activity? The last question you may, you may ask yourself is that, does your child feels irritated and they can't sit still at a long period of time at one single spot? If yes, hmm, you might think that this is one of their intelligence, so observe closely. Let's move on to the next intelligence. The second one, interpersonal intelligence. Now, individuals who have such intelligence, they love to communicate with other people and they are also very good with working with other people in the team. How do you know whether your child has such intelligence? The first question you may ask, you may ask that, does your child enjoy socializing with other kids or even um, people around them? Second, does your child seem like a natural leader since young? Uh, and the last one, does your child enjoy teaching other people, whether it's their peer or even um, kids who are actually younger than them. Think about it. Let's move on to the third one. The third intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence. These people have the ability to control their own impulses before making a decision. Why? Because they understand their emotions and they acknowledge their emotions uh, really well. So, some of the questions that you may ask yourself. First, does your child work better alone or in a team? If alone, yes, they might have intrapersonal intelligence. Second, do you think that they are able to express their emotions accurately? If yes, huh, they might have this intelligence as well. Third one, do you think they are better, they perform better when being left alone um, to study or even play or rather they play in a group and have better performance? If they were to have better performance in, in a, when they are alone, that means, yes, they have such intelligence. So observe carefully. The fourth intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence. Now, these people are pretty much associated with numbers all the time and they have the interest when it comes to math and love to analyze. How do you know whether your child has such intelligence? First question you may ask yourself, does my child love math? Is maths their favorite subject? Mostly, the answer is yes because that is that shows their big. That's the place where they are able to showcase this intelligence. Second, does your child enjoy playing strategic games such as puzzle, building things, analyzing Lego games? If yes, high chance that they have this intelligence. The last one, is your child curious and always ask how these things work? That thing work? If yes. Wow, amazing. Let's observe and let's move on to the next intelligence. The next intelligence, musical intelligence. La, 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 la. Hmm. Individuals who have such intelligence normally express their ideas through music, through rhythm, through steps, through beats. They enjoy music very much. Now, how do you know whether your child has such intelligence? The first question you may ask, does your child easily remembers a song and can sing them later on really easily and quickly? Hmm. Second, you may ask yourself, does, do you catch your child normally humming the song, whistling to that song that, they, that she or he even heard a few minutes ago? Huh. The last one, does your child genuinely enjoy playing music instruments? If yes, high chances that your child is a musical intelligence child. Let's move on to the next intelligence. Next, linguistic intelligence. This intelligence is closely related to writing, reading or even speaking. These individuals, they, they attune to a lot of languages 
and they are really good in learning new language and they always love to read or even write. Now, how do you know whether your child has such intelligence? The first one you may ask, does your child enjoy reading books? Second, does your child has great command of language and great command of vocabulary at this age? The last one, does your child able to write essays, write paragraphs, or express themselves through writing better than their peers? These are the three questions that you may ask your child to find out whether your child has such intelligence or not. Okay, let's move on to the next intelligence. Next, naturalistic intelligence. Now, these people have the ability to understand the things around them, the nature, the environment. They are really good in identifying, observing, categorizing, and understanding distinguished features of the environment. Now, these are the questions that you may ask yourself to observe whether your child has such intelligence. First, do you find your child normally studying about the environment, about different animals, about different plants, or the environment? Second, do you find your child always collecting little things? Little things such as collecting bugs, collecting flowers, love to explore outside and very adventurous? If yes, they might have such intelligence as well. Third, do you normally find your child always love to opt for natural sports instead of indoor sports? If yes, they are pretty much have they pretty much have such intelligence and it's good to actually nurture them to become a better naturalistic intelligence person. Now let's move on to the next intelligence. Next intelligence which is spatial intelligence. Now these people have the ability to create, to visualize space. Now what kind of space? They are really good in creating a new creation, producing a new artwork. So sculpture, painters, normally have such intelligence. Now, some of the questions that you may ask yourself to, to see whether your child has such intelligence. The first one, does your child enjoy visual presentation? Visual presentation such as watching videos, watching images, watching movies. If yes, they might have this intelligence. Second, does your child effectively use art material to create and to express their own ideas? The third one, does your child always love to do scribbling, doodling, artwork in any available resources on their hands? If yes, they might have such intelligence and it's great to develop this intelligence. Now, let us move on to the last intelligence for today. Let's go. The last intelligence for today, which is existential intelligence. Now, people who have such intelligence normally use their collective value and intuition to understand people and also the world around them. Philosophers, life coach normally have such great existential intelligence. Some of the questions that you as a parent might ask yourself. Does my child tend to always ask questions about life and death? For example, Mommy, how am I born in this world? Or second, Mommy, how do people actually die? Or Mommy, how does people live in this world? Why are they even born? What is life all about? Huh, they tend to always ask this question, so never underestimate their curiosity. So with such, we have come to the end of this video for today. So I hope that all of the parents here have learned something new. So if you actually learned something new, do like and also share this video so that more parents can be benefited with this knowledge. Bye! We are from the